Wing Chun is a very effective system due to its scientific approach to combat. The style's sophisticated fighting principles are based on both simplicity and the theory of economy of motion or conservation of energy. All the techniques are designed to be structurally faster than other fighting methods as well as more efficient. An imaginary line running down the middle of the body called the center line is the basis of Wing Chun fighting theory. Its path is determined by crossing the wrists while extending the arms first down, then up. This movement is found in the beginning of all three Wing Chun forms. Many of the vulnerable points of the human body are located along the center line. Thus, Wing Chun's offensive theory stresses attacking an opponent's center line. Attacking either to the left or right of his center line, your force will be dissipated if he rolls with the blow. Attack his center line and he must absorb the strike's full impact. All Wing Chun's offensive techniques, in particular the straight punch, which is the style's major weapon, begins from the center line. Notice your fists travel along the same path which is perpendicular to the center line. Wing Chun punching is always direct, since the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Your fist originates at your center line and is delivered directly to his center line. In general, your opponent's nose is the target. Defensively, Wing Chun stresses the instinctive protection of one center line to a tight on-guard arm position where the elbow of your lead arm is always a fist distance from the center line. Never is the elbow out, since you are left exposed. Though your arm moves to block, your elbow remains a fixed axis. Wing Chun employs shifting, allowing the body to revolve on its centerline axis. Defensively, shifting helps you roll with punches that may get by your blocks. Offensively, shifting creates various angles for attacks that will subtly penetrate an opponent's defenses. Body shifting also increases the distance of your arm's reach. Shifting quickly magnifies punching power since tremendous force is generated from sudden torque in the waist and hips. Wing Chun is structurally faster than many styles of fighting because it employs simultaneous offense and defense. Block and attack should not be separated into two motions. Wing Chun's block and attack is executed in one motion. After striking out, the fist automatically blocks when retracted. A line extended from shoulder to shoulder and perpendicular to the center line forms the four gates. Wing Chun's defensive system trains one to employ various blocks to protect each of the four gates. Here, Master Wong protects his upper right gate as he blocks and punches in a single motion. Alternate simultaneous blocks and punches protect both your left and right upper gates.
observe how body shifting is coordinated with both the blocks and strikes. Master Wong demonstrates defense of the upper gates against an opponent's multiple punches. Similarly, both left and right lower gates may also be protected with simultaneous alternate blocks and chops. Observe how the arms move in unison. Here, defending his left and right lower gates, he simultaneously strikes with a right chop, then a left punch, 